Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in. Today I'm going to make a photo holder or a note card holder, however you want to use it, that you can set out and decorate your home. I am going to make uh, three trees out of hearts. So this one I'm kind of aiming for Valentine's Day. To start, I've got a kind of a medium size rectangle piece and five thin um, pieces of wood that I am painting with a chalk paint in kind of a sandy gray color. I'm diluting it as I go along to give the wood a stained look rather than a solid painted look, but you can paint them however you want. Two of those pieces of thin wood are gonna be used on the base and then three of them are gonna be the trunks of my trees. I also have three small clothespins that I'm going to cover with paint by adding paint and some water into a Ziploc bag and then dropping the clothespins in there, just rolling them around. That way it gets in all the nook and crannies of the clothespins. And then I'll set all these off to the side to dry. In the meantime, I'm selecting three different types of fabric that I'm gonna cut 13 double hearts from. You can cut as many hearts as you want. I did different sizes. Um, it ended up being 13 for the trees that I made. I put four hearts on one and, uh, or I'm sorry, four hearts on two of them and five hearts on one. And you'll see, I, I did the trees two different ways. Uh, the first way that I'm showing you here, I'm taking five of the hearts and just filling them with a little bit of stuffing, try to give some dimension on these hearts. And the fabric that I selected, it had uh, two kind of felt material. And then I've got three kind of cotton fabrics that are kind of fraying at the end. Plus I wanted to decorate them a little bit. So I'm gonna add some decoration to the outside of the hearts. Now I try to make um, kind of four different sizes when I was cutting out the hearts. Uh, but I, although there's three trees I'm gonna do uh, two different ways, I still try to kind of mix it up um, in the sizes and uh, the fabric that I use on each tree. But in the meantime, although I'm showing you just three hearts I'm decorating here, I did go through and decorate all of the cotton hearts, uh, but not the felt ones. But you can decorate the felt ones. I just didn't think it needed it, but by all means, Go ahead and decorate them if you want. <laughs> so for this one, I've just got a kind of jute twine. Um, I used like a pearl strand on another and a crinkly yarn on a third. So for the first tree, I'm kind of making like a maple tree. I'm gonna do some smaller hearts at the top, but I'm gonna cluster them in, in a group at the top, uh, kind of giving it a almost egg shape. And like I said, I'm just kind of mixing up the colors and the sizes, although I'm trying to put the larger sizes toward the bottom and just turning them every which way. And I'm just using hot glue. Uh, you can use uh, the E6000 along with the hot glue, um, especially with the clothespin. Although I didn't do it here, I just used hot glue. I probably should have used some E6000 to make sure that uh, it stays well. So that's one style of tree. And then the other style would be more like a pine tree. Um, for this, you can see I'm laying them out from large at the bottom to small at the top. And I'm just gonna hot glue all those right there. I did overlap the, the hearts to kind of um, make it more of a billowy shape rather, rather than a more narrow shape, if that makes sense. Um, and then I'm going to hot glue the second layer on, but I'm not hot gluing it all the way around. I'm just doing about half the side of each of the hearts. I want to leave the one side open so that I can stick some of the stuffing in there. Um, so I go ahead and I'll add some of the stuffing and I go all the way to the top there. And then I just hot glued as I went along. Um, once I, I had one layer filled with stuffing, I hot glued it, the next, and so on and so forth, all the way to the top. And then when I was done with the um, stuffing and the hot glue, I did decorate these hearts as well as I did the other tree. So I did two of those pine trees. And now for the base, I'm gonna put one of the thin pieces of wood 
using some of that E6000 along with hot glue down, not quite in the center, but a little bit more towards the top. I'm gonna sandwich my trees in between two pieces of wood, basically is what I'm doing. So now that I've got that first long piece of wood on the base, I'm gonna go ahead and add my trees. Uh, so there's one of the pine trees. I'm gonna put the kind of maple tree in the center. And then another pine tree on the side. I forgot I did the sides first. I did add a little bow to each of the trees in a different area. Um, but like I said, you can decorate them however you want. Once those are standing up straight, I went ahead and added a second piece of wood behind the little trees just to sandwich those tree trunks in and make sure it doesn't topple over, trying to give it a nice sturdy base. And then once that's all dried, you're ready to go. And there you are. There's a photo or a note card holder that you can put at an entryway or on your dresser. Thank you so much for watching.